We all know that digital computers changed virtually every aspect of our life. Well, the arrival of quantum computers could be even more historic than that. Quantum computing isn't on the horizon. It's already rewriting the rules of technology. In 2019, Google's Sycamore chip solved a problem in minutes that would take classical supercomputers 10,000 years. That's not just impressive, it's historic. If you've heard the term quantum computing, but brushed it off as sci-fi or something that won't affect you, stick around. Because this isn't about futuristic labs or niche applications. Quantum computing is set to reshape industries, from healthcare and cybersecurity to finance and artificial intelligence. In this video, we're diving into how quantum computing works, the industries about to be disrupted, and the global race to dominate this technology. But that's not all. By the end, you'll also know about the hidden challenges that are holding quantum computing back and why that won't stop it from hitting the mainstream sooner than you think. If you're ready to see how quantum computing could shape the next decade and why you should care right now, let's get into it. Let's break it down without diving too deep into the weeds. Traditional computers use bits, either a zero or a one, to process data. It's like flipping a light switch on or off, simple and effective, but limited. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits. Now here's where things get wild. Qubits can exist as both zero and one at the same time, thanks to a principle called superposition. Think of it this way. Imagine flipping a coin. In classical computing, the coin lands on either heads or tails. With quantum computing, it's as if the coin is spinning in midair existing as both heads and tails until you actually look at it. This allows quantum computers to process multiple possibilities simultaneously, exponentially increasing their power. But that's just the start. Qubits can also become entangled. This means that the state of one qubit is directly linked to the state of another, even if they're separated by vast distances. Einstein famously referred to this phenomenon as spooky action at a distance, it's like having two perfectly synchronized dice. Roll one in New York and the other in Tokyo mirrors it instantly. This level of interconnectedness allows quantum computers to perform calculations that classical systems simply can't handle. In recent breakthroughs, researchers, including Google's team, have demonstrated that increasing the number of qubits not only adds power, but also helps reduce error rates. Error correction has been one of the biggest challenges holding quantum computing back, but advancements like these are crucial steps forward. This isn't hypothetical anymore. The technology is advancing, and with it, the race to unlock its full potential is heating up. So, where will we see quantum computing's impact first? The truth is, this technology won't sit quietly in labs. It's already poised to transform some of the world's biggest industries. Let's start with cybersecurity. The encryption protecting passwords, banking information, and sensitive data relies on mathematical problems that classical computers struggle to solve. But quantum computers, they could eventually break these encryptions, posing a significant risk to current security systems. Governments and tech companies are already racing to develop quantum-resistant encryption to stay ahead of potential threats. While large-scale quantum computers capable of cracking today's encryption are still years away, the groundwork to secure data is being laid now. Next, healthcare. Drug discovery is an expensive, time-consuming process that relies on testing countless molecular combinations. Quantum computing could transform this by simulating molecular interactions with incredible accuracy. This means faster identification of effective compounds and reduced development times for new treatments. While we're not talking about overnight cures, quantum simulations can dramatically speed up the initial phases of research helping pharmaceutical companies develop drugs for complex diseases faster. The ultimate computer, a computer that computes on atoms, the ultimate constituents of matter itself. The question is, who's involved in this race to perfect quantum computers? And the answer is everyone. Finance is another industry watching quantum computing closely. Quantum algorithms excel at processing massive data sets, allowing for faster and more precise risk analysis, portfolio optimization, and fraud detection. 
Major financial institutions are already exploring how quantum tools can enhance market predictions and improve decision-making. And then there's artificial intelligence. Training large AI models can take weeks using classical computers, but quantum systems could significantly reduce this time. Faster processing means A, I can handle more data, improving accuracy, and enabling the development of more advanced models across industries. Finally, energy and material science are set to benefit enormously. Quantum computers can simulate atomic and molecular behavior, helping scientists design new materials, improve battery technologies, and develop superconductors long before they're physically built. This could drive innovations in renewable energy and sustainable technology. The potential is massive. While many applications are still in early development, progress is accelerating. The industries investing in quantum technologies now are laying the foundation for breakthroughs that will reshape the global economy. The race to dominate quantum computing isn't just a corporate competition, it's geopolitical. Nations are investing billions to ensure they aren't left behind in what many are calling the new space race. The United States is leading the charge with companies like Google, IBM, and Microsoft making massive strides. Google's Sycamore chip demonstrated quantum supremacy in 2019 by solving a problem that would take classical supercomputers 10,000 years. IBM, meanwhile, has released a detailed roadmap suggesting that commercially viable quantum computers could be available by the early 2030s. China isn't far behind. The country has invested heavily in quantum research, with its scientists developing some of the most advanced quantum communication networks. In 2016, China launched the Mises Quantum Satellite successfully transmitting encrypted data over 1,200 kilometers, a groundbreaking feat that stunned the global scientific community. Australia has also joined the race, recently announcing a $1 billion investment to develop its first quantum computer, aiming to position itself as a key player in the field. Meanwhile, Quebec, Canada is emerging as a global hub for quantum startups, attracting talent and fostering innovation that could rival advancements in the United States and China. The nice thing about quantum supremacy is that this is a very well-defined engineering milestone. In a nutshell, what we're trying to do is we're trying to show that experimental quantum computers can surpass the best supercomputers in the world. This isn't just about technological bragging rights. Quantum supremacy, the point at which a quantum computer outperforms the best classical supercomputers, could shift the global balance of power. Nations and corporations that achieve it first will gain a significant edge in areas ranging from cybersecurity to economic dominance. For all the excitement surrounding quantum computing, it's important to recognize the obstacles still standing in the way. Quantum computers aren't about to replace your laptop or smartphone anytime soon. The technology is incredibly fragile and faces significant engineering challenges. The biggest hurdle? Qubit stability. Qubits are incredibly delicate and can be disrupted by something as minor as a slight vibration or a temperature fluctuation. Most quantum computers must operate at temperatures near absolute zero, colder than outer space, to keep qubits stable enough to function. Even under these extreme conditions, qubits are prone to errors. If a single qubit falls out of alignment, entire calculations can fail. Scaling these systems is another monumental task. Unlike classical computers, where adding transistors typically boosts power, adding qubits introduces more complexity. Quantum computers require precise entanglement and synchronization. It's not as simple as stacking Lego blocks. Every additional qubit exponentially increases the difficulty of maintaining system stability. Cost is another major barrier. Quantum computers are expensive to build and even more expensive to maintain. The infrastructure required from cryogenic cooling systems to specialized environments limits quantum computing to elite research labs and tech giants. Companies like Google, IBM, and Microsoft are pouring billions into development, but for now, most smaller companies and academic institutions are left behind. Even if these technical barriers are overcome, practical applications remain limited. Quantum computers excel at solving highly specific problems, like optimization tasks or cryptography, but real-world large-scale applications are still in development. Many breakthroughs represent potential rather than immediate, tangible results. That said, progress is happening. Google's Sycamore chip and advancements from IBM and other researchers 
show that we're inching closer to practical systems. Sycamore's achievement of quantum supremacy in 2019 demonstrated that quantum computers can outperform classical supercomputers in specific scenarios. With each passing year, error rates are decreasing and quantum processors are becoming more powerful. Although we're not quite at the point of everyday use, the momentum is undeniable. Quantum computing is steadily advancing toward the mainstream. So, when can we expect quantum computing to make its way into everyday life? The short answer, not tomorrow, but sooner than you might think. Experts predict that quantum computing could reach mainstream adoption by the early 2030s. This doesn't mean you'll have a quantum device at home, but industries like pharmaceuticals, finance, and logistics will likely integrate quantum tools into their workflows. In fact, this process is already starting. Hybrid models blending classical and quantum computing are expected to appear much sooner. These systems will handle specialized tasks using quantum processors while relying on classical computers for general operations. This combination accelerates adoption without waiting for full-scale quantum systems. Financial markets are among the first sectors to embrace quantum computing. Large banks and investment firms are testing quantum algorithms to analyze risk, optimize trading, and enhance fraud detection. Pharmaceutical companies are also exploring how quantum simulations can speed up drug discovery and reduce development costs. The shift won't happen overnight, but the foundation is being laid now. As progress accelerates, quantum computing will expand beyond research labs and begin shaping industries in the next decade. Here's the takeaway. Quantum computing isn't a distant dream. It's a technological shift that will reshape industries, economies, and daily life. While it might seem far off, the advancements behind the scenes are moving quickly. Why should this matter to you? Because when quantum computing reaches its full potential, it won't just affect tech giants, it will impact everything. From healthcare to finance, cybersecurity to AI, the ripple effects will be massive. Staying informed isn't just useful, it's essential. Quantum computing will drive new industries, jobs, and innovations. Those who understand its impact will be better prepared to capitalize on the changes ahead. Startups and tech leaders are already drawing investors, signaling that this is an area to watch closely. The question isn't if quantum computing will reshape the world, it's when. And when that time comes, will we be ready? The answer might arrive faster than you expect. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.